October the 31st, 2023. Because you're looking at information just coming in from Israel, and what it's saying is that the Houthis officially declare war on Israel. They targeted the nuclear plant in Damana, mass attack with ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and drones, guys. So they didn't hit the nuclear plant. Now, Tel Aviv did not fare so well. Although Israel saying they shot down everything, I've got a picture or still shot from a video that I'm going to show you where there's several explosions in, uh, in the city of Tel Aviv itself. They're saying that they shot down everything that was coming over the Red Sea. Now, the Houthis guys are in Yemen. That's just south of Saudi Arabia, and they kind of fire north of the Red Sea towards Israel from there. They're saying they're attacking because Israel will not back off of bombing the Gaza Strip. Another 500 people or 600 have lost their lives there today inside of Gaza, and I think there's been casualties from the ground attack on the Israeli side too. It's a shame that the demons have possessed the leaders of the planet, but that's what the Bible says, that these evil spirits would go forth to the leaders, to the kings, and bring them to this battle. It's just a shame that the innocents uh, are being slaughtered on both sides. This continues. It says the Houthis have now officially declared war on Israel, announcing a large-scale attack with ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and drones against Israeli targets. Yemen is the first country to enter the war against Israel. This means that the forces that make up the axis of resistance have been ordered to escalate and gradually enter war with Israel. According to reports, the Shaman Perez Neg Negev Nuclear Research Center in Demona was also a target of the Houthis. Fortunately, the missiles never arrived. The air the Arrow Air Defense System intercepted a medium range ballistic missile over the Red Sea en route to Ilat in southern Israel. This is the first operational use of the Arrow Defense System since the beginning of the war and in March 2017. Now, one of these missiles was shot down over Jordan, I believe, but it says the Houthi involvement is quite serious. The forces have medium-range two-fan ballistic missiles called the Iranian Kudge 3 with a range of 1,950 kilometers. For this reason, the Saudi army was put on high alert. Israeli combat aircraft and an Arrow 2 anti-ballistic missile were launched earlier in order to intercept a number of hostile drones and Atlanta attack cruise missile which was detected over the Red Sea heading towards southern Israel. It says the Houthis launched a long-range missile bound for Elat. It is 1,700 kilometer distance. The missile was intercepted. Earlier drone was down. The significance here is enormous. And I'm just going to kind of go through some of the highlights of this book because it's a lot of repetition and Twitter links. But it says the air, air defense system intercepted the medium-range ballistic missile over the Red Sea, likely inbound again for Elat in southern Israel. The Iranian-backed Houthis confirmed they launched a large number of ballistic missiles and cruise missiles from Yemen at Israel. They did exactly that. And what the Houthis are saying, in quotation marks, we, out of a sense of religious, moral, humanitarian, and national responsibility, and in response to the demands of the Yemeni people and the demands of the free peoples and to provide relief to our oppressed people in Gaza, have deemed it necessary for the Yemeni armed forces to perform their duty, relying on God and victory over the historical oppression of the beloved Palestinian people. The spokesman of the armed forces also stated, the continuation of the commission of crimes and massacres by the enemy or the enemy entity against the people of the Gaza Strip and the whole of Palestine destabilizes the region and widens the circle of conflicts, and it does for both sides. And that's what war does. Again, we have demons running the nations. The Iran-backed rebels are vowing to carry out more attacks against Israel. That's if the uh, attacks in Gaza continue. According to the al Masara Network, Brigadier General Yaha Syria stated that the armed forces launched a large batch of ballistic missiles and a large number of drones at various enemy targets against Israel. The Yemeni armed forces confirmed that they will continue to carry out drone attacks until the Israel aggression stops. 
and they're saying that Yemen has formally declared war on Israel. Now, coming out of the Israeli war room today, the Israeli war cabinet will discuss tonight whether and how to respond to the attacks from Yemen. Also, they're saying that Israel's planes were deployed in the morning after an aerial threat was detected in the Red Sea again, and it intercepted enemy targets flying in the area. All threats were intercepted outside the territory of the state of Israel. No incursions into Israeli territory was detected, and this is one of their military lead, uh, leaders, Hagara. The interception was later confirmed by the Israeli military in an official statement in which it is noted that this morning fighter jets shot down enemy targets believed to be drones flying in the Red Sea. But what's coming in on Twitter is that several rocket impacts have been seen in the city of Tel Aviv following the most recent rocket barrage from the Gaza Strip. Strangely, there were no interceptions reported during that attack. Now, this is a still shot from the video that I'm going to link you with. Well, I'm going to link you to the whole article, and you can scroll down to this. But this is Tel Aviv. Now, you're seeing one, two impacts here, but in the video, it scrolls left and right. And both ways, you see other impacts, more smoke rising from these rocket attacks. So what is about to happen? Again, what did Israel say? They're putting together their war cabinet tonight and to make their plans. Now, so the U.S. has got carriers in the Mediterranean, and they said one of the reasons was to stop other people from getting involved in the Israeli-Gaza and Hamas conflict, right? Well, I, some people you just can't trust. You can't take their word for anything. I don't really care what country they're coming from. So people involved better be very careful of who they're trusting to have their back because you've got uh, over $60 billion, I think, have been sent into some of these places by the U.S. But they're saying they're going to prevent the same people that they're providing billions of dollars to they're going to prevent them from using that money to, a, to attack Israel. It, like I said, this is a game, and you've got a, the dense fog of war happening here. And what I mean by that is you can trust no one. You can trust very little information. And so that's why it's hard to come by. But, guys, we're watching this. I'm going to put a link to it. I think things are going to get pretty hot right now since you're seeing Tel Aviv get hit like this. But uh, we're watching it. You watch it, guys. This is a heads up. Be safe.